Hello, my YouTube friends. You're about to watch one of my free sample Patreon videos. I'm so excited about my Patreon channel. I have so many wonderful patrons on that channel supporting me and also supporting themselves. Our Patreon channel today has evolved to a daily kick in the pants. It's five days a week, every day I repeat what you need to do that day. What zone we're in, what you do if you're a payroll person, it covers if you're single, if you're married, if you have children, if you're an empty nester, it's for all of us. So watch this video. I hope you think about it. It's only $5 a month to get five videos a week that are put out so early in the morning that you can actually lay in bed before you get up and get that quick kickstart. Have a great day. And remember, you are beautiful. Hello, patrons. Today's video is entitled Speaking Truth. And it has to do with being honest with yourself about what you're doing and what you're not doing and what you know how to do and what you don't know how to do. As a mentor, kind of like a life coach, I speak the truth often to my mentees. We talk about things that their mother won't tell them because their mother would be considered treading on their toes if they said these things like, you need to put your baby to bed earlier. Your baby needs to eat dinner earlier. You need to give your baby no snacks before dinner or your children no snacks before dinner or they won't eat their dinner. Just truths, simple truths that I speak into the lives of my mentees and they really appreciate it. Those who accept the advice have humongous changes in their life, really. And I know that you guys who I have done that to are saying, yep, she's right. And so truth isn't easy to speak, but I insist that I speak truth to you. I try to speak to you firm in a firm way, but a kind way. And sometimes I need to tell you things that no one's ever told you. And some of you respond really positively and say, oh my gosh, Kat, you're like a mother to me. And that's a very big compliment, and I really appreciate that, although a mother would not tell you these things more than likely once you're an adult. Um, what I speak to you, and, and I speak in truth to you, a lot of times is how to raise your children. And I hope that you don't think that I'm treading on your toes, because that's not my intention. My intention is that you have a life where you feel in control, that you feel peace and you learn how to love yourself and that your children feel that you're in control, that's very important, and that there is peace in their home and that they have a chance to learn how to love themselves as well. So I hope that when you hear things from me, whether I personally mentor you or you're watching these videos and getting a little bit of mentoring, that you really do consider what I'm saying and really take it in and say, you know, that might be the right thing to do. Let me at least try that. A lot of the things that I give for advice are old fashioned, quote, old fashioned, but they're tried and true. They're truths. Children need a lot of sleep. Growing teenagers need as much sleep as a toddler. A toddler needs 10 to 12 hours of sleep. A six month old needs 10 to 12 hours of sleep and two, one to two hour naps. Now, does that mean your child will always do that? No, but at least you can aim for that. Children need to eat their dinner by 5.30 most nights. Children need to be in bed by 7.30, 8 o'clock at the latest, depending on when you have to get them up in the morning. But in general, there's a, I don't remember what they call it, but it's a, it's a cycle, a sleep cycle that children have. And most of them, the sleep cycle starts early. If you miss it, your child won't sleep. And guess what? When your child, children don't sleep, you don't sleep. Children need to eat healthy meals. They need to be introduced to food slowly in tiny amounts. Children's stomachs and adult stomachs, as a matter of fact, unstretched are about the size of, the, of your fist. That's about a cup for an adult, but a little tiny baby fist isn't much. Now it can stretch a little and some children eat a little more, but don't be shocked when your two-year-old stops eating. Uh, sometimes that they're not going through a growth spurt anymore, so they stop eating. And it's nothing to be scared of, and you don't address it. You just still take them to the table and sit them down, and they play around with it, and whatever they eat, they eat, and whatever they don't, they don't. But having a hungry child at the table is the best appetite stimulator. So if you let your children free-range graze, they're never going to want to eat dinner. And they won't think you're a very good cook because they're not hungry. But if they go to grandma's and grandma's do, and grandma doesn't let them do that, 
and they get ready to eat. They think grandma's the best cook ever, ever because they're starving. <laughs> okay. I remember standing at my mother's stove begging for a bite. I was hungry. I wasn't starving. I was a chunky little kid, but I was hungry for dinner and it tasted delicious to me. My mother was a great cook, I thought, right? So these are just some of the truths. This might not apply to you. You might not even have children, but what I'm telling you is the things that I tell you are old fashioned, but true. So take care of yourself. That's old fashioned, but true. There's a song that was way popular, like in the forties, eat an apple every day, get to bed by three, take a nap by three or something, take good care of yourself, you belong to me. You know, you want to eat healthy foods, drink water. I don't believe in being extreme in any of these things, but I believe in general, there should be a general push toward that because you love yourself and you want to live a long and healthy life. So you want to eat as healthy as possible. Does that mean you never eat chocolate cake? Nope. Does it mean you never stay up to 1.30 in the morning? Nope. But in the general sense of things, you are gonna eat well and go to bed on time. You're gonna get some exercise. You're gonna drink some water. You're going to have the dripping of water that wears away stone. You'll notice as your house becomes more and more organized, less and less cluttered, more streamlined, more time for enrichment, you will notice that you start taking better care of yourself. That's where the love starts happening. You start bathing more often, shaving your legs more often, putting your cream on your face more often. You have time for it, pushing back your cuticles, little things, little acts of love, little acts of self-love that make you feel better. And that makes you interact with other people in a better way because you feel you don't feel like you've been put aside or that you've been, been martyred. So I'm speaking truth to you. I want you to have this life, this better life. And to do it, I suggest that you follow the instructions that I give you. So if I tell you to do your routines, do your routines. If I tell you to get your zone done first thing in the morning, get your zone done first thing in the morning. If I tell you to do your basic weekly plan right after lunch, or if you don't have children right after your zone, that's when you should do it. And then when you're done, you're gonna have the rest of the day free and your house will, in time, evolve into that house of your dreams. Not that it's going to be a gorgeous, expensive, well-appointed, you know, dream house of Pinterest's fame, no. But it's gonna be clean and tidy and organized and comfortable and you're gonna love being there. Okay, that's it for today. I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope that you always remember to be beautiful because you are beautiful.